If we turn our attention to the pelvis and the particularities of the female pelvis, um, the first thing that we can notice is it's the cradle of life, yes? The center of gravity is right about here in the body, somewhere in the middle of your guts, but that's the center of your fascial system, the center of gravity of your entire body is right sitting about here in the standing posture. And then you can see that around it, in this, this is the cradle of life, is this ring. Can you see that this ring is attached to the spine? Because the sacrum here is part of the spine that goes all the way down to the end of the spine in the tailbone. But this part of the pelvis is axial, is spinal. This part of the pelvis, the two hip bones that join into each other in the front at the pubic symphysis and to the ala, to the wings of the sacrum in the back, that makes this ring attached to the spine. This ring, that's actually one of three, isn't it? We can see a uh, ring around the pelvis, a uh, ring, obviously the ribs are a ring around the heart, and the head is obviously a ring around the brain, but people don't look at the pelvis so much as a ring. But can you see the bony ring that I am holding? Yeah, that's the middle ring of the pelvis. There is a bottom ring. The bottom ring is the pelvic floor coming around this diamond shape thing. We'll get into that a great deal in a little bit. And then we could say there is an upper ring, especially if I drew the inguinal ligament in from here to here. Then there's an upper ring on the pelvis, the very strong bony middle ring around the uterus in the middle, and then the lower part of the pelvic floor, of which we've been hearing a lot in the last um, 20 years or so. And we're still, even though it's been 20 years, we're still just getting to what this is in the pelvic floor.